Hi everyone and welcome back to Film Dirt. Last week I took another look at Predator from 1987 and as promised here's my review of Predator 2. It didn't do that well surprisingly. I think it started well and then I read that ticket sales decreased shortly after. Probably caused by some lukewarm reviews maybe. And I think that's unfair. This story is better than that I think. It nicely expanded a little bit more on the Predator character and its lore. But in many ways it's almost as good as the first movie in that it's a different type of jungle. If it's not a green and leafy jungle as before, it's now a concrete jungle. And uh, I love that first shot of the movie where we see the jungle and then it pans up to see LA. And I absolutely love this poster. There's many variations of this. I remember seeing at the time in front of the Eastern building. And notice they rarely had Danny Glover's name in, in big letters. And that's a shame because probably the marketing team, they maybe saw this as a, a step down from the first movie. Arnold, of course, was on the rise at the time. He'd just come off of uh, Commando and The Terminator. And Danny Glover himself had just come off of the first two Lethal Weapon films. He himself was a big star and a very competent actor, let's be honest, and good leading man material in my view. And that supports what I mentioned about the first movie, where this design of the character of the Predator is uh, very intriguing and strong enough to you know, carry a film series on its own. And I think if you step back and just look at the film for what it is, do we really need Arnold? It would have been good if he'd made some kind of appearance just to link continuity somehow. But we don't really need that same character here. All we need really is a tough cop. And I think Danny Glover fits that perfectly. He plays Lieutenant Mike Harrigan, and in losing Arnold, they make up for it with a really good supporting cast. We've got Bill Paxton, Gary Busey, Adam Baldwin, Maria Conchita Alonso, Robert Davi, and many other faces here we've seen in other stuff, including once again Kevin Peter Hall playing another Predator. This time he's been dropped right in the middle of a city, in the middle of a war zone. And what's funny here is that he's landed into a Mexican standoff between the Colombian drug barons against the Jamaican voodoo posse <laughs> headed by King Willie. See, on paper, there's a great movie right there. We don't even need the Predator. This seems a very over-the-top, uh, very wise guy, uh, quick-talking movie. And I quite like that because it's of its time. It is definitely a 90s movie to me. And everyone's always shouting and arguing and very sweaty, very sweaty faces. It's probably a heat wave. And that's what keeps this momentum going throughout the film from start to finish, really. And maybe I thought in the second half there was a, a little bit of a lull where some of this tempo was a little bit tiresome. But the rest of the film, maybe in the next scene, would, would definitely make up for it. See, the problems here for me are very minor. I think this is a great movie. And I'm struggling to see why this wasn't very well received at the time. Were people thinking it was just a quick and cheap sequel without Arnold? Probably. We just get to see a little bit more of the Predator's character. But again, not too much. We're not bombarded with his whole story. We get quick glimpses here and there which I like, including a, a new ship at the end of the movie. that seems to have landed somewhere in the depths underground. And again, for their sport... The predator species is attracted by war, not attacking people that aren't armed. And anyone else hurt is probably just a consequence of his sport. And he certainly likes stringing people up for some reason, doesn't he? He likes to sometimes skin them as well. And I always thought if he sees us all fighting each other, people dying all the time, he probably sees us as fair game. And you can't argue with that. The voodoo gang is quite interesting, isn't it? I loved the meet-up with King Willie. I loved his confrontation with the Predator. Such an iconic moment with that amazing Alan Silvestri score who returned from the first movie to score this. And that car ride there was quite odd, wasn't it? With them all smoking weed and, you know, they've got a cop in there as well. Is that, <laughs> is that quite as believable as we're supposed to make out? But in a film like this, I think it's perfectly fine. It really is just nuts overall. And I liked what Stephen Hopkins did with this story. He didn't really try to emulate the first movie. 
some new easter eggs here as I mentioned the ship at the end the additional predators and the alien skull on the wall <laughs> I had a great time as you can imagine revisiting this and you know when you see Gary Busey in a film it will be just nuts I'm going to give this four stars again overall I loved it with just a few minor faults I already mentioned the big talking tempo that was just a little bit too frequent and also for the predator itself I didn't think the headpiece mechanism was as maybe efficient as in the first movie there seemed to be some movement in the jaw that maybe looked a little bit mechanical for me and I'm not sure if I'm maybe picking holes in it because this is a Stan Winston creation who's pretty much the master in these animatronics and uh, puppetry but I just felt it all looked and moved a little bit better in the first movie but don't get me wrong all of these faults are minor this is a much better film than maybe initial reviews would tell and also I think better than the subsequent films there was one that came quite a few years later called Predators and also The Predator I'll be having another look at those because maybe I was wrong about them the first time not sure if I'll review them next or if I'll try and get into the Alien vs Predator films I'll probably toss a coin to decide when that time comes okay thank you very much once again for joining me for this little look back at Predator 2 please do join me again next time like and subscribe as well, and I'll speak to you soon. All the best, and take care.